Hi, I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Nathan. Hi, I'm Max. Hi, I'm Siva. I'm Jay. And we're the Wanted, and you're watching Billboard. What's up? It's Andrew with Billboard. We're backstage at iHeartRadio in Vegas with The Wanted. Hello. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, fellas. Pleasure. You guys killed it this afternoon at the Fan Village. What was that like, playing yeah. the desert heat? Um, <laughs> yeah, it was um, an experience. Um, we had a really good time. Um, our equipment um, burned out. And, uh, oh, yeah, it kind yeah, of. That's what we thought. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so halfway through the set, the, all the laptops that run the uh, sound and everything went down and... We're pretty much uh, playing. Well, it was just us and our band with nothing else. So right. yeah, it was pretty. Good. I mean, it was cool. But the fans, um, the fans helped us. They sang, sang it all. Yeah, they sang it all better. Well, there you go. Yeah. It was cool. When well, we got through it, which was, and um, we had a really good time. So it was cool. This is why you have rowdy fans to yeah. be your. Yeah, us through them times. <laughs> That's fantastic. So, you guys played um, some new songs, including uh, We Own the Night. Um, the album was just put back to November. Um, what can we expect when that finally uh, hits our shores? Uh, I th well, I think it's uh, some of it will be what I guess people expect, which is party songs and club sort of mixes. And then there are some that I think are more reflective of, you know, a, a year, two years of some struggle. And so, you don't want uh, hands in the air on a struggle song. You want mm -hmm. an orchestra and you want. Uh, to emote a little, so I think that hopefully there's a mix of both. You know, that's sort of the more introspective stuff and then the more carefree stuff, so we'll see. With, because of the delay, were you able to add some songs? Were there new opportunities that came up? Like, what was the main reason of that extra time? Yeah, we got to um, really work on making sure the production on the album uh, really um, complemented like other tracks on the album so it wasn't a very even though it's quite a different album like there's a lot of different genres within the genre if that makes sense mm -hmm. like we wanted to really make sure that the album kind of flowed so it wasn't like oh random bits of orchestral bits random like mixed dubstep right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so we really feel it like it flows now and we're very proud of it excellent any collaborators you can confirm um, I mean there was there was gonna be mm -hmm. um, I think it started out with like writing collaborations with Rita, Rita Rora and, and Justin, um, and the Justin track we kind of it was it was going to be on there, and then um, I think on on further thought it, it didn't quite sit within the album. But um, I mean maybe for the next album because mm -hmm. uh, it was a bit I think it was a bit maybe R and B for for the album. But I mean it, the song's great, and um, so yeah I think for this album it's just I mean, it's just the wanted. So uh, maybe maybe for the next album there's, there's a few there. So if that track was too R&B, how do you describe the wanted sound? It's kind of like a global pop sound. To yeah, me. I mean, yeah. It's, I think um, it's quite anthemic. I think at, at times, like Jay said before, it's um, there's, there's quite a lot of dance stuff on there, and um, but I think with this album, it's it's got, it's got a bit more um, a bit more bandy. So mm -hmm. like guitars and orchestras and and like like more live like instruments, which I think is it's kind of a cool thing. Uh, we always like to we always like to create like a. A sing along sound as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like Glad You Came, sort of like a nursery rhyme. Right, oh, completely. Know, um, <laughs> we, we like to do that little bit as well. Like, uh, I, f I feel like we own the night, we have that as well, where you can, everyone you hear it once and then you can sing along. That's what we like to do. Um, but whether we've whether we've done it or not, we've, we've got to wait and see. Execution, maybe yeah. not. <laughs> so today's a good preview, though. You're, you're heading in the right direction. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Excellent. So you guys also just finished your reality show with E. What what was that experience like? And obviously you're still in front of cameras, so. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, the, the experience it was an experience. Yeah. Um, and was it? Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah. And I think it was two months long, and and it was there was a lot of fun bits. We got to go to the White House and meet the president's dog, and, and that's and, right. And the first lady, whole family, and and meet uh, the president's dog. Yeah, I mean, Not the listen, <laughs> listen, listen. The, do the, the dog, the dog, listen. The dog deserves <laughs> the respect, also, you know. Um, and uh, you know, and it's all respecting the first lady. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Obama. <laughs> Because when you when you have cameras following you, what 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 if anything were the limits? What were the boundaries as far as what was a reality show moment? And there was there was no true um, like reality contract in that we could edit what they, you know, what they edited. We didn't have any say over how we we came across. So yeah. uh, it was just you know we we lived our life and uh, they they got to record a lot of it. And I think 
The only like reality moments would be if you get out of a car and they missed it, they might be like, can you get out of that car again? Which mm. kind of makes your day twice as long. But right. yeah. like, we were never ever told to say anything. So um, it's about as re- reality real as I could go, I think. Yeah, that's admirable. Excellent. Well, lastly, what's the rest of your year looking like? I mean, obviously, albums are around the corner. You're on the road. Yeah, um, I mean, we've got a new single. Obviously, We Are On The Night in the US. We've got a new single in the UK, uh, which is called Show Me Love. Um, yeah, the album comes out 4th of November. And, um, yeah, we're going on our world tour, um, which starts in February. Excellent. Which is cool. So, yeah, tickets will be coming out for that soon. And we've kind of got, like, a mini tour in October um, for the US. So, yeah. Pre-tour. Busy, yeah, pre-tour. So, yeah, we're kind of Teased non-stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're excited. We've got a busy time coming up. Fantastic. Well, we'll see you when you come to New York. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Excellent. Thanks, fellas. Thank you.